This year I went out and got myself a grill gun to use in my garden. Yes, I had so many aphids last year that they drove me crazy. So this year I was really worried that they had buried their eggs in my boxes and that I was going to have a lot of aphids this year. So I went out and bought this grill gun. I saw this really cool video on YouTube. It's about grill guns and I thought, yes, I can use that. So what I decided to do is to take buy a grill gun, burn the top one inch of soil in my garden boxes, rake them and torch it again to see if I could get rid of any of the eggs that of any bugs that might be laying on the surface of my boxes. Torch and heat the ground about an inch in. So if there's any bug eggs or anything near the surface that it will be burnt away. So we're raking up the surface just a little bit, not very deep, just so we can get the next layer that the heat wasn't able to reach. Okay, we're going again through the same box for the second time to get the layer that we have just raked up. The greenhouse did get smoky, but it wasn't too bad. But I have tons of windows on both sides of the greenhouse and also have a front door and a back door. And we kept that open. It was a windy day, so it pretty much took care of the smoke. I would suggest doing one box at a time, letting it air out, and then doing another box. This is the first year that I've tried this. This is my first real gun. My boxes are filled with pre-washed cement sand and sawdust. That's how I make up my soil. So you could see the sawdust that was on the surface catch on fire a little bit. All right, I used the grill gun on all of my boxes in the greenhouse on March 28th. And now it is May 3rd and I wanted to show you this update and how my plants are doing in the boxes. They're doing good, but it is early in the season. There are no bugs in the garden, but I cannot verify that it worked, but it sure gave me peace of mind. Hope you enjoyed this video.